Well, hello there, time travelers, and welcome new time travelers. If you're new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Now come along as we go back to 1789, when Georgetown College, now Georgetown University, was established in Washington, D.C. 60 years later, in 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell, who was born in England, received an MD degree from Gen Gen Genevia Medical College in New York, becoming a, the first American trained woman physician. Now, Moving forward in the timeline, 90 years to 1939, when an American disability rights activist, Ed Roberts, who was considered the founder of independent living movement, was born in San Mateo, California. Now, in 1948, the Soviet government informed the UN that UN, that the Korean Commission would not be permitted to enter the Soviet zone in North Korea. <sighs> Moving on to 1957, when international, the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development announced its first loan to Iran, equivalent to $75 million to provide short-term financing for Iran's second seven-year plan. In 1964, the 24 24th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution which prohibited the federal and state government from imposing poll taxes before a citizen can participate in a federal election was ratified. Just four short years later, in 1968, USS Pablo, a U.S. Navy intelligence ship, was seized off of the Korean coast by North Korean patrol boat and taken into the port of Wonsan. 1977 brought us the TV miniseries Roots, an adaptation of Alex Haley's best-selling novel debut, debuted became one of the most popular shows in history of American television and galvanized attention on American, African American issues and history. Nine years later, in 1986, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland inducted its first class which included Chuck Berry, Fats Domino, and Elvis Presley. On this day in 1997, Madeline Albright, who had earlier, earlier served as U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., assumed under President Bill Clinton the office of Secretary of State becoming the first woman to hold that cabinet post. The second event from this day on in 1997 was the age of Aquarius dawned with some astrologers believing because for the first time since 1475, a number of planets, the sun, and the moon were aligned in a perfect six-point star in the first degree of Aquarius. 
Three years later, in 2000, a crowded bus veers from a rain-slicked highway and overturns near Queenstown, South Africa, killing at least 23 people. Two years later, in 2002, a panel of experts that worked for the National Cancer Institute says that studies that have been relied upon as proof that mammograms prevent breast cancer deaths are such serious, are so seriously flawed that they do not show whether or not such screening is beneficial. In 2005, American comedian Johnny Carson, who was the host of The Tonight Show from 1962 to 1992, established the standard format for television talk shows and came to be a considered the king of late night TV, passed away at the age of 79. In 2011, American physical fitness guru, Jack LaLanne, who became the first host of the televised exercise program with the debut of the Jack LaLanne show, from 1951 to 1985, passed away at the age of 96. Three years ago, in 2021, American talk show host Larry King, whose easygoing interviewing styles helped make the Larry King Live from 18, or I'm sorry, 1985 to 2010, one of CNN. CNN's most long-running and most popular program passed away at the age of 87. And with that, we return to 2024 and our current history. Until next time.